Hi everyone, we're so happy that you're with us today. I'm Lena Saratos, Greystone College Campus Director at Vancouver, and today we are officially launching the new Greystone College Technology Programs, the tech programs. So it's a day of celebration, and because we're so happy to be doing this, we have invited one of our alumni, former Greystone College student, William Haas, to tell us a bit about the life of... A front-end engineer in Canada. That's right, William. So. Um, what, what was life like for you at Greystone? Uh, it was, well, great, fantastic. Uh, especially, uh, I really appreciate the support that I got from the teachers and the staff uh, in starting my career as a tech in, in Canada. Wonderful. And what does a typical day look like for you as a front-end developer? Well, I work from home, so my day usually starts at like 8 a.m. until like 9 a.m. I start my coffee, and then it's meetings or uh, like admin uh, processes until noon, and then I try to focus on actually coding until the, the rest of the day, so 5 p.m. That sounds like my dream job. <laughs> um, what kind of skills and knowledge does a student have to develop to be able to aspire to become a front-end developer and uh, an engineer in the tech industry? Yeah, uh, so I think, uh, well, I don't believe that uh, it's a skill set that anyone is born into. I think being curious and committed to something that you're doing is the, uh, well, those are the first steps to the, an actual successful career. Uh, if you want to go, go and try and learn it. What actual skills does someone need to have and what do companies look for in, in when they want to hire? Uh, a front-end engineer, I guess you can learn uh, a plethora of languages, but in my case, uh, I work with JavaScript and React specifically, which are two technologies and frameworks who are in demand right now, and I recommend those two. You're always learning. What kind of resources and where do you get them to continue being updated? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I was a self-taught uh, engineer, so uh, I recommend uh, a lot of resources online will help you. Uh, and free ones like, Google, um, like YouTube could help a lot. Um, and to stay up to date, I think uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Medium could help. So William, what could you say to the people who are watching this video right now thinking in their home country, should I study this at Greystone? Should I go full stack developer, front end developer? Is it worth the while? Oh, for sure. Uh, it's something that I wish I had back then. Uh, and it's something that uh, would have helped uh, even more in my career uh, if it was uh, available. So it, it's a course uh, or courses that I wish I could have done. Thank you so much, William. So there you have it. There's no reason why you shouldn't come to study at Greystone, especially with this expert advice. I'm Lena Saratos. Bye-bye.